Hey everyone, this is Vamsi from codefer.com and welcome back to another tutorial on lead code day 26 challenge that is longest common subsequence. So let's get started. Given two strings text1 and text2 return the length of their longest common subsequence. A subsequence is a new string generated from original string with some characters deleted without changing the relative order of the remaining characters. A common subsequence of two strings is a subsequence that is common to both strings. So given example is A, B, C, D, E and second one is A, C, E. The output is 3. So longest common subsequence is A, C, E and its length is 3. So let's understand this with the help of an example. So here I have taken two strings, VAMSI and SHIVAM. So I am trying to find the longest common subsequence of both the strings. Let me go from S. I will check whether S is matching with V. No. So S is matching with A. No. S is matching with M. No. So S is matching with S. So here I will draw. So H is not there in this above string. So I will proceed with I. So I is there next to S only. Okay. Next I will proceed with A. A is there but it is not occurring at the later part. It is occurring before S. So we have to cross this line. Here A should not be cutting these two lines because in subsequence the characters should come in the same order. So A should come after S and I. But A is present here before S and I. So we will ignore this A and again we will proceed with M. So M also cut these both lines to reach here. Means M is also present before S and I. So the sequence is not maintained. So we only got two characters for the subsequence that is S and I. So let us see if there is any other subsequence. So let us revert all this. Suppose we, if we check V, V is present. Now A is also present. Now M is also present. So SI is one subsequence. VAM is one subsequence. Since SI is two characters long and VAM is three characters long, the longest of these two is VAM that is three characters. Hence we will be returning 3. This is our answer. So now let us go with our given example. A, B, C, D, E and A, C, E. So here A and A are matching. C and C are matching. E and D are matching. All are not crossing each other. So A, C, E is the longest subsequence which is of 3. So we will be returning 3 as mentioned here. So how do we find these subsequences? Well, the most common way we can find these subsequences is through recursion. So let us see how recursion works using an example. Here df and cdef are the examples I have taken. S1 is equal to def, S2 is equal to cdef. So at 0 and 0 position we can see d and c are present in S1 and S2 respectively. So now as both are not equal, if we see if both are not equal, we will be returning max of LCS of i plus 1 comma j lcs of j plus 1 comma i again it is a recursive function which is calling this lcs okay so now our positions are i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 0 and here i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 1 so let us go one by one so if i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 0 we will be getting f and c so f and c are not equal so again we will be going through incrementing i and incrementing j. So now if we increment i it will be 2 0. So since s1 doesn't consist of 2 we will be returning 0 from this algorithm. So we will be returning 0 as shown in this code statement. So again we will be going to here i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1. So here f and d both are not equal. Again we will traverse and we will be reaching 2 comma 1 again it will be 0 so I will be going back to 1 comma 2 so here f comma e f and e are also not equal again we will be going to here and here 2 comma 2 since 2 is not there in s1 again we will be returning 0 so we will traverse through this along this time so we will traverse through right side now i is equal to 1 j is equal to 3 here f comma f so both are equal so i is equal to 1 j is equal to 3 so both are equal and now we will be going through this statement lcs of i plus 1 comma j plus 1 so we are incrementing i and j at a time so now 1 and 3 will become 2 and 4 again it will be 0 so this is how we will be solving the problem through recursion we will consider all the steps and we will be traversing through each and every step so here is our code solution for recursion so we will be taking function lcs which will be taking parameters i comma j 
which are nothing but positions of array if i or j has reached the last position of the arrays will be returning 0 else if array 1 of i is equal to array 2 of j will be returning 1 plus lcs of i plus 1 comma j plus 1 again we will be calling this function which is nothing but recursion else if both are not equal again we will be traversing by incrementing either i or incrementing either j and we will be taking whichever it is the max so in this way we will be performing recursion on that problem here the time complexity is so if you try this problem in late code we will be getting tle that is time limit exceeded so how to solve this problem using recursion is so we can simply use cache so let us see how we can solve it using cache so here is an example of how we can use recursion using cache so we will be calling lru cache so here we will be importing function tools and we will be calling function tools dot lru cache so let's see what happens internally let us go back to the solution so here if we can see this diagram so here there are repetitive traversing so if you see f and d and f and d so this part is equal to this part there is nothing different between these parts so once if our coding solution travels through one path there is no need to traverse through this part since it is already known to that coding so if we can find a way to catch this path there is no need to traverse through this path so this is where our cache kicks in so it will store these paths and it will not traverse through this path and it will simply return the resultant of that path so that is where we will be using lru catch so it will significantly reduce the time complexity so lead code accepts our solution so another efficient way to solve this problem is through dynamic programming which we will be explaining now suppose let us take first example given in our problem that is s1 is equal to a b c d e and s2 is equal to a c e now we will take a matrix a b c d e and we will be tracking our s2 string a c e so let us assume that at starting position 0 and 0 so we have to check whether both are equal or not so let us assume all the initial positions is 0 so next we will check if a and a are equal since a and a are equal we will be incrementing this diagonal item by 1 ok next we will traverse through b so a and a b so a and a b consist of one common element that is a so a and a b only one element a and a b c only one element a and a b c d only one element a and a b c d e only one element a c and a only one element a c and a b only one element a c and a b c now two elements a c and a b c d two elements a c and a b c d e two elements so if we can clearly observe this one is nothing but the longest between this side element and this side element zero is becoming one when both the elements are equal so a and a so one it became one here c and c it became two so remaining elements are like 1 and 1 maximum of 1 and 1 is 1 maximum of 2 and 1 is 2 maximum of 2 and 1 is 2 so if elements are equal val plus 1 if not equal max of left side element and top element so this is how we will be traversing as of now so now let us check so e equal to if e is equal to a not equal right so we will be taking maximum of both of these so that is 1 so e is equal to b not equal right so again we will be taking 1 and 1 maximum of 1 and 1 is 1 so now e is equal to c no so maximum of 1 and 2 it is 2 e is equal to d no so maximum of 2 and 2 2 so e is equal to e yes now we have to increment according to this so now it has become 3 in this way we got our last element as 3 this is nothing but our answer now let us find what are the elements present in longest subsequence so we have to traverse diagonally to find the solution so now 3 is formed by incrementing from 2 so this is a diagonal element so we will be considering this e as our part of longest subsequent element now 2 is derived from this 2 
so we are not considering this d now this two is because of c and c are equal so it has traversed diagonally to increment so now since the diagonal traversing is involved we will be considering this c now again this one is derived from here so now we are not considering this b so this one is by incrementing this zero because a and a are equal so we are considering a so combining all these three we got a c e so this is our longest subsequence in this way we can find the length and the characters involved in forming the longest subsequence using dynamic programming so let us form the algorithm using our observations previously we discussed in our dynamic programming solution so here if a is equal to a that is if str of i is equal to is equal to str of j str1 of i is equal to str2 of j then we will be adding 1 to this diagonal element so a r r of i plus 1 j plus 1 is equal to 1 plus a r r of i of j so if both elements are not equal so what we are doing is we are adding this and this so else we are equating ARR of i plus 1 or j plus 1 is equal to max of ARR of i plus 1 j comma ARR of i comma j plus 1 so this is the algorithm derived from this db solution so let us code through our solution here let us take b comma a is equal to len of st text 1 comma length of text 2 now let us take array is equal to 0 star so we are forming 2 by 2 array star a plus 1 for in b plus 1 in range of b plus 1 so we formed an array of length a plus 1 into b plus 1 now we will traverse via length a if text 1 of i is equal to is equal to text 2 of j then we will be adding ar of i plus 1 of j plus 1 is equal to 1 plus ar of i j else ar of i plus 1 j plus 1 is equal to maximum of ar of i plus 1 j comma ar of i j plus 1 so we have to return last element in the array we will be returning arr of minus 1 minus 1 so if you click on submit so it is accepted thus we have solved our problem so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please click on like button and don't forget to subscribe hope you like this video see you in the next video thank you